Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies portal of ICAI. Our attempt is to be covering every possible question in SCMP. We have already taken first step in that by putting every possible question from the module. All the MCQs of the module of SCPM are covered up on our YouTube channel. And we don't only give the answer. Of course, there are many other things that we all try to be doing. Uh, we try to say the concepts. We try to give the summary. So therefore, even if a student has not completely uh, studied that topic, he will still be able to understand all these questions. Two things before I'll be starting. Our complete course is there for everybody to be enrolling. Link of that is there in the description. Our complete course covers every little page of the module, every practical question, every case study question, everything that's possible. So everything is done. Second, you will have still any doubts about uh, SCPM. So you all can write to us at our telegram ID at the rate AJ next. With that, I start away with chapter number four MCQs. So the question for today is how is target cost calculated? Okay, target cost that is actually the first thing in the chapter. So how do you compute target cost? Four options, desired selling price minus actual profit. Second, market price minus desired profit margin. Third, desired selling price minus desired profit margin. Fourth, market price minus standard profit margins. Okay, now before I continue, this is a small thing that I think will help you to remember the concept of target costing. Now, one of the industries in India are cars. Many years ago, there was one company, Tata Motors. Obviously, it's there now also. And I think in future, that will become easily the biggest company in India. Share prices increased from 60 rupees to 1000 rupees here. So, at that time, Tata Motors was not a very big company. They used to be making the passenger vehicles, which included uh, Tata Safari, Tata Sierra. And one of their hottest selling cars was Tata Indica. Tata Indica used to be selling approximately at 2.2 lakh rupees. But then, Ratan Tata had thought, I want to be selling a new variety of cars at 1 lakh rupees. That was his vision. He thought at 1 lakh rupees, first of all, Indians would love to buy a car. That is whatever was his perception. Now, whether it went right or wrong, this video is not about that. But then he did not think what will be the design of the new car. No, he only thought the price point. You know how usually the things work. Not like this. Usually the things work like this. You have a product in mind. You try to be thinking of the cost. Add up the profit margin and then fix the selling price. And based upon the market conditions, you try to adjust the pricing. Okay. But target costing works in a reverse way. You don't think of the product. You think of the price at which you want to sell a product. You don't even think of the features of that product. So, Ratan Tata had thought, I want to be selling a car at 1 lakh rupees. This is whatever he thought. But then he also thought that we want some profit here in that. The profit that he had targeted was 1 lakh rupees. Sorry, the uh, profit that he had thought was 10,000 rupees. This is just an example. Okay. This profit is called as target profit. So out of 1 lakh, 10,000 rupees should be his profit. So therefore, he wanted to produce a car at 90,000 rupees. This 90,000 is called as target cost. It should be the cost of your new product. So therefore, that is whatever they all target. Now, but then after this, a very big work starts. You still not have thought of a product. You have just thought this. I want to be producing the car at 90,000 rupees. After that, he calls his team of engineers and tries to tell them our current Indica model sells approximately for 2.2 lakhs. Approximately. And uh, out of 2.2 lakhs, our cost is 1.6 lakhs. But I want to be producing a new car. Might be with lesser features at 90,000 rupees only. You try to do one thing. See the composition of Tata Indica at 1.6 lakhs and try to be thinking what what you want to be shrinking. So therefore, new cars can be produced at 90,000 rupees. This 90,000 is called as target cost. So then they start to be thinking metal body in Indica will be replaced by say uh, the plastic body in uh, the new car. Then the heavy engine will be replaced by a lighter engine, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, this 90,000 is going to be called as target cost. Now, obviously, what is this 1 lakh rupees? If you'll try to be thinking, this 1 lakh rupees in reality is what? This 1 lakh rupees is nothing but the price at which you expect the product to be readily bought by the customers. 
this could be the expected market price at which the customers will love your product okay so therefore this 1 lakh rupees might not be your desired price it is your desired price but based upon the market okay means you think at 1 lakh rupees people will buy your product like anything okay so therefore now coming back to the four options now first option desired selling price minus actual profit it's not actual profit is a target it's a target profit first cannot be the answer second market price minus desired profit margin that could be the answer third desired selling price minus desired profit margin that could be the answer i'll come back to it fourth market price minus standard profit margin it's not standard profit margin like you know it is the profit margin that you want standards are usually industry determined it's not like that okay now out of second and third i think second makes better sense to me because 1 lakh rupees in my example is not desired price like given a choice ratan tata would sell would like to sell nano at 10 lakh rupees also yaar yeah. but then at 1 lakh rupees he tries to be thinking that car will be readily absorbed or sold to the market so therefore out of the four i guess second one makes a maximum sense to me that should be the correct answer yeah that is the correct answer we are all done just before i close off one thing i like you know get lot of messages sir how should we prepare how many hours we study see it is simple thing as a ca student you might think that your life is tough but life is not that tough if you try to balance it out study say for 6 hours play for 2 or 3 hours play means play physical not xbox or something okay play physical play cricket play badminton play tennis whatever physical things you like talk with your friends for 30 40 minutes rest of the time in any case you have to be there in office okay in case your article ship is on but try to balance a person who studies for 18 hours in and nothing remains in his brains okay it's of no use read newspapers on a daily basis that'll make you far smarter as compared to the books that you all have to be very honest and those things add a lot to your personality as compared to only your books so try to have a balanced life in long run that will always pay you far 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 more marks is not everything it is a small part of your ca career you know at the like once you start your career you all will understand any person who got a rank or you did not get a rank it actually does not matter it will only like you know it is a trigger point i'm not saying don't try to aim for ranks obviously do that okay but in case you do not it is okay you move on your success is not determined by your marks it is determined by all of the factors that i told uh this is the description of the answer that ic has given i have already uh, covered it up and this is the qr code of the mcqs from the module uh do check it up if you all have not seen those videos see those videos and then come back okay for watching the board of studies portal mcqs i'll see you all next time in another lecture till then take care bye